install WordPress and create a new website with cloud-based hosting. So first thing you have to do is check the description. Any updates to this tutorial or any other info will be available there. So make sure you check the description first then you will find the discount code. So when you apply my discount code during signing up for Cloudways, you will get extra discount for the next three months when you pay your bill. And please use my referral link. This helps in supporting the channel and you don't have to pay anything extra. You will get the best discount possible. And then on Cloudways website, you can uh, sign up using this option. Either click on here or here. So I will just click on the start free button here you will get a three day trial period to try this. And after that, you will have to start paying for the plan you choose. Okay, so on the sign up page, it's very simple. You have to just fill your name. So I will just um, smart demo. Then in promo code, you have to enter this code smart 10. This will also be available in the description. You can see this green tick mark. It means this coupon code is valid and this will give you discount for the next three months when you start paying your bills and then click on i agree to the terms and conditions then click on start free after that you have to verify your email and you will be able to create your cloud base account it's super simple i have already done that so i will directly log in and show you the next steps and once you log into your cloud base account you will see a dashboard like this from here, you have to click on this option, launch now. And from here, select the application. So I will select WordPress. And with Cloudways, you also get this Astra Pro free for one year. So you can create websites using this. So I will select this option. You can select either of this option, depending on what type of website you are creating. So I will explain the different options. With this Astra Pro, you will get the free Astra Pro themes and all the premium features for one year. So it's a limited time offer. It may not be applicable when you are following this tutorial. And the next option is WordPress. And if you select this option, then this will install the WordPress, but with some optimization plugins by Cloudways. And this is the multi-site option. So you don't have to uh, select this if you don't know what this is. So this is for creating multi-site as the name says, obviously. And the, the third option is clean, no cloud-based optimization. So if you use the third option, then it will install the default WordPress without any other third-party plugins by Cloudways. So uh, if you want that, okay. And then the next option is WooCommerce. So if you want to install WordPress with WooCommerce, then you can select this option. Now, what I would suggest you to do is select this Astra Pro if this is available. Next best option is this version 6.11. We can install the WooCommerce later. So I will select this and then I will name my app. Then you can name your server. Then from here, you can uh, select a project or create a new project. This doesn't affect your site in any way and you can change the names later. This is only for your internal reference. After that, you have to select a provider for the server. So these are different cloud providers, DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, AWS, Google Cloud Platform. So you can select DigitalOcean, it will be the cheapest. So I'll show you the different pricing options and the minimum pricing option will be, you can see the price here, $11 per month if you select this DigitalOcean plan, okay? And if you select this uh, premium plan, so it will cost you $14, okay? And similarly, if you select Vulture, you can um, check the prices here. High frequency will cost you 16. The standard will cost you 14. And similarly, you can check other providers. So we can select DigitalOcean, it's perfectly fine. And then from location, pick the location of the server which is closest to your audience. So if your audience is in U uh, Europe, then you can select this Amsterdam or Frankfurt, so or maybe London also. If your audience is in US, then you will have to select this. And similarly, if they are in Asia or Australia or anywhere, so you can select pick the server which is closest to your audience. So I'll select Singapore here and that's it. And then click on launch now. Now you can see the prox time it will take to configure and launch the server. So you will have to wait for five, seven minutes and then we will do the next step. Okay, so after five minutes, 
the server installation process is complete and you can see uh, now we can see the IP of the server the location the RAM size and the creation date and here you, you can see all the applications that are installed on the server by application means website so you can also install multiple websites on the same server so let's click here and you will see this now click here and here you can see this is the server this is the app and these are the wordpress details so this is our wordpress uh, url click here and this will open in a new tab so this is the wordpress website we just installed and this is the temporary url from here you can also see the wordpress backend uh, details click here and this will take you to the login page and from here you can see the username and password okay so you can copy it just by clicking here okay now i will log in you can see our wordpress website is ready and since i selected the astra pro option and since i selected the astra pro option i will get the starter templates option also here and from here we can again visit the site and see how it looks right now uh, you can see it's a blank page because of the astra template option we selected otherwise it would have been like the default wordpress you see normally there's a sample page so it's working um, it means it's installed properly and in the wordpress backend area you can see the extra plugins installed by cloudbase so this is breeze so this is their um, caching plugin so they have installed it for improving performance and you can also see a message related to that here now if you want you can design your wordpress website as usually you do and if you already have existing website you can also migrate that to cloudbase for that you can watch my migration and transfer tutorial on the top right corner here now we will move back to the cloud based dashboard here and i will show you the next steps to convert this temporary url into a normal permanent domain like yourwebsite.com okay so i will just um, close this and go back to the wp admin area okay so our server installation is complete wordpress installation is all also complete the only thing left is to connect our domain so for that either you have to purchase a domain or if you already have a domain then you can connect it to your cloud based website so for that i will use namecheap to purchase a domain i will just show you how to do it simply you have to go to my website uh, the link will be in the description as usual uh, you will see this page from here you can type the domain uh, domain store okay you can type the domain you are looking for okay so the, it will take you to the namecheap page okay so you can see this domain is available and then what you have to do is click on add to cart then you will see this option of checkout then on this screen you can check the price and confirm your order now you will have two options if you already have an amcheap account then you can um, log in from here or if you don't have an account this is the first time you are purchasing your domain then you can simply create your account it's really easy just um, use your username password and email and that's it it's very simple i will log into my account and show you the next steps okay so now you can see i have completed my purchase here you can see this and now i will click on this manage option okay and if for some reason you don't see that manage option so what you have to do is log into your namecheap account then go to this domain list section here and from this you can see all the domains uh, connected to your account and then you can follow the next steps i also have a full detailed tutorial about namecheap domain uh, control panel so you can see all the options that are possible and how you can manage your dns so i'll show you the next step now from here now to point our domain to our cloud base website what we have to do is go to this advanced dns and here you will see this option and before this if you don't see this page you have to go here domain and from here domain tab so make sure that this uh, name server set is selected as namecheap basic dns if you have selected custom dns web hosting or custom dns then um, the process will be different it will not work
okay so select basic dns this is selected by default and then go to advanced dns from here we have to delete this records and we just tick here and then um, just delete this manually okay so now we have to click on add new record select a record then in host select at the rate in ip address go to your cloud based dashboard here then from here you will see this public ip of the server where our wordpress website is installed click on this to copy the ip then go to namecheap save this paste this ip and click on this tick icon to save the changes then we will create another uh, dns record for that select cname record here in host type www dot and then here type your domain name so my domain name is smart demo dot store okay now make sure that there is no other space or anything uh, this is your domain name you can see here you can also copy and paste it from here okay then click on the stick icon to save the changes okay so now the changes have been saved but this changes take some time to take effect so to verify that what we can do is copy our domain name from here go to this website lookmydns.com so this is a website to check your current dns record uh, to where your domain is pointing which ip so you have to just paste your domain name here and then click on find so you can see because i just registered this domain so currently there are no name server records in any of the dns servers uh, global dns servers so i can also check this a record here again if i click on find then this should show the ip this is pointing at but currently you can see um, there is no record because i just registered this domain okay if the domain you bought was already registered at some point of time by someone else um, so it might show a different ip than the ip we just uh, pasted to point it at so do not worry just wait for like 20 minutes and then refresh this page now after about 20 minutes some of the dns servers are showing the correct ip that it is pointing to this ip 206 and you can see in the Namecheap dashboard, there's the same IP and from Cloudbase also. This is the IP we updated in Namecheap and it is reflecting here. So we can check the NS, NS means name servers. Click on find and you can see uh, most of the DNS servers have started reporting the correct uh, name servers and they should soon start reporting the correct IP but still it has not been propagated to all the DNS servers across the world so depending on the uh, DNS servers you are using it is related to the local ISP um, it may take some more time for to get and if I try to visit the website now it will show a page like this and, and I'm showing you this that this is completely normal and it is showing this because the DNS servers doesn't know which uh, IP this domain should point to. Okay, so now what we will do is copy our domain name, go to Cloudbase, and from here we will go to Domain Management and click on Add Domain here. Then I will paste it. Okay, then click on Add Domain. Okay, so you can see this uh, message here, the additional domains have been updated and we can make this primary. Click on make primary. You can see the domain has been successfully added message again here and you can see now our main domain is primary and the temporary URL has been converted to an alias. So now if we go back to the access details tab here, you can see the application URL has changed and now if we go click here and still you can see it is still showing that no domain found error so do not worry about it this will automatically get resolved uh, after a few minutes or maximum an hour now if you go to the previous temporary url you will notice that if i refresh this it will not load properly because we have changed the domain so i will close this tabs and go back to the cloudways dashboard 
and install the SSL certificate. So for that, go to here, SSL certificate tab. And from here, select Let's Encrypt. And then select your email address here. You can put your normal Gmail or any other email address that you have access to. And now put your domain name here. And do not select this apply wildcard option because then you will have to follow some additional steps. So if you're just creating a simple website, then just put your domain name here and click on install certificate. And if you need a wildcard certificate, then check the description. I will put more info related to this. And after following some steps, you can also get a wildcard certificate for SSL. Another important thing to note is this SSL certificate will not install if your domain is not pointing to the IP of your server. So for installing the SSL certificate, the Let's Encrypt authority will verify by uh, using some DNS technique and um, file verification technique, which Cloudbase automatically handles, but it should point to the, uh, but your domain should point to the server IP. Otherwise the verification will fail and the SSL certificate will not get installed. You can see here the certificate has been installed and you can see it is the certificate expiry date. So after 90 days, it will automatically renew. You do not have to worry about this. As long as the verification works, it will auto renew. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any feedback or if you need any help, please post in the comments. And if you have used my referral link, thank you for supporting the channel. Also, I have a lot of other cloud-based tutorial on my channel related to email issues, SMTP, Cloudflare, how you can get the Cloudflare Enterprise, Astra Pro, and other tutorials. So you can all found, you can find all of them from the description link.